Welcome everybody to the Art of Mandalas. My name is Star and I'm going to be showing you how to create your own personal mandala today. The first thing you're going to need for this project is your art kit from the library. It's got everything you need in it, colored pencil, permanent marker, pencil with an eraser, a ruler, some more information about mandalas for you, but most importantly, it's got this mandala guideline sheet, which is gonna be really important for getting this project done. So if you haven't done so already, give us a call at the library and schedule a time to pick up your mandala art kit through curbside. It's completely free and it's a lot of fun, so you're gonna to wanna to pick this up. Try again. Before we get started creating today, I want to go over a few things with you. We're going to go over what a mandala is. Mandala is the Sanskrit word for circle or completion. We know that the circle symbolizes wholeness, continuity, harmony, and the circle of life. Now these circle with pattern, circle with center patterns are the basic structure of creation. And we see those throughout nature. In your presentation packet, in your art kit, you're going to see some examples of mandalas in nature that are really cool. So I hope you guys enjoy them. I'd like to go over some important things to keep in mind while you're creating your mandala. First of all, creating your mandala is meant to be therapeutic and a healing experience. There are no rules or judgments here. This is meant to be relaxing, bring you calm, and to help you focus your energies. During the process, take deep breaths in and out, which will allow your feelings and your instincts guide you through the creation process. Don't overthink it. Let yourself be guided by your emotions to the colors that you want to use to fill your mandala. After you're done creating, you can compare the colors that you chose to the color interpretation guide in your packet to see what you are feeling during the creation process. And finally, remember, don't be too critical of yourself. Don't compare your project to others. This is your story. This is your journey. And it's meant to be as beautifully unique as you are. I hope you all enjoy the process of creating your mandala. Before we get started, we're gonna take some deep breaths. And we're gonna get on with the creating process. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is finish our guidelines to help us create our mandala. So you'll have this bullseye looking sheet in your art kit. And what we wanna do, um, we wanna split each quadrant into six sections. So what we're gonna do is we're going to draw a line down the middle, making sure that all lines connect through the center. And I use really, I recommend using light lines because we're going to go back and erase the pencil marks before we start coloring. And then we're going to go through and do it again. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to give ourselves some space for all the sections. And now what I'm gonna do is take each little pie slice and kind of in my mind divide it in three. So I gave myself some little marks to go off of. It looks about even. And here too. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna follow those, or we're gonna complete those lines through the center onto the other side of the mandala. So you'll see that that's starting to come out. Now we're gonna go over here to these last two sections and do the same thing. Okay. Now you've got your guidelines started. Now we get to start creating our mandala. So you're gonna take your black pen and you're gonna mark your center and you're gonna go out to your first ring 
and just make a dot on one of the guidelines. And then you're gonna count four, so one, two, three, four, and you're gonna put another dot. Again, one, two, three, four, Four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Perfect. Now, let's start drawing. So you're gonna make like leaf type shapes, like this. Or if they aren't even, this is your piece of art to create. See, this is what it should look like right now. Okay, so now that we've done our inner part, we're ready to start the next um, the next step. So we're gonna go up to our second outer circle right here, and we're gonna go just up and to the right. So you're gonna cross over one line and then put a dot right at the outer edge of your circle on this line. And again, you're gonna count in fours, so. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna make another leaf type shape. There we go. So now you're starting to have some, you, look, you have something that looks like a little flower. We're going to move on to the next step and we're going to utilize this third ring right here. So you're going to go just up and to the right again. You're going to cross the line and put a little dot up here and again in fours. Perfect. And you're going to take your line and you're going to start just off the tip of your last leaf and take it up to the point and close it off on the other side. And if you want to, you can go through and you can draw your lines first for each layer. And then you can go back and finish them. same thing again it's a lot of the same process we're gonna go up and to the right put a point and count in fours and you're gonna draw your lines again just from the just off of the edge of the tip and you take your line draw them like that beautiful flower now it's up to you if you want to color or make an edge a black edge to your mandala make it a circle and now you've created your outline Good job, guys. So before we go on to coloring, we want to go through and erase all of our guidelines. So your sheets came pre-printed with some very light lines that'll get covered up when you color. But we wanna go ahead and erase all the guidelines that we added to your mandala. perfect empty coloring sheet to color. 
There's a few different ways that you can decorate your mandala. And I'm gonna go over a few different styles with you. So here is the first one. And mind you, you can decorate your mandalas any way that you'd like. You can make your own designs. You don't have to color yours if you don't want to. You can make designs in black and leave it that way. It's completely up to you. just like that you're all done now you can take this and you can color it however you'd like and then match it to the uh, you can take it when you're done and compare it to the color interpretation guide and it'll kind of give you an idea of your feelings that went into this mandala so that's just the first classic design I'm going to show you guys a couple other ways you can do other mandalas now too Here's another idea for you to decorate your mandala. I like rainbows, so if you don't want to decorate yours and you just want a color, you can do a simple rainbow pattern. And these are just lines through each one. You can color them in if you like. You can use alternating colors. It's whatever you're feeling at the moment. You can use um, crayons, you can use markers, you can use colored pencils, whatever your preferred media is. Color pencils work pretty well, especially if you're wanting to do detail. rainbow mandala all finished now this is the last uh, style I'm going to show you so here you can use uh, whatever colors you would like I'm using pink and purple because they match um, and you can use your pencils or your colors to make the designs in your mandala
Then let's see, for our last little layer, I'm gonna do some more, some more shapes. So I'm gonna do little bumps around here. And there you go, just like that. And this is the third matching color mandala we have created. So it's pretty simple. Once you've created your basic outline, you can design these however you would like. And there you have it. In a few simple steps, I've showed you guys how to create three different types of mandalas. After you're all done decorating and coloring, you can cut it out around the flower shape or the circle. You can keep it square and frame it. It's completely up to you. This is your own unique piece of art that you've created through this process. So great job, you guys. I hope you had some fun. I hope it brought you some calm and some peace. And I hope it's inspired you all to keep creating. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.